A new episode of MT5. Today was the third match of the year. Gryffindor vs. Ravenclaw. Enjoy! Hi, it's Marcel again and you see the teams are prepared for another game. I am almost finished with the uh, Gryffindor team, only the Weasley's uh, hairs are uh, missing because I don't have a fitting color, but I think that will be forgiven. Uh, we will play with the core box zero point teams, so everything standard players and tactical decks and uh, so on, only the fervent fan as spectators and uh, the only option is using Harry as the seeker for the Gryffindor team. Again we got the uh, rubber rings at the player bases. Uh, just to remind you the orange rings are for the chases, the black rings are for the beaters, the white rings are for the keepers and the purple rings are for the seekers on the snip trays. All players are already here, so we can see which one will get the quaffle at the kickoff. Successes for Ravenclaw, opportunity for Gryffindor. Ravenclaw gets the quaffle. Now we will reveal three of the snitch cards and see if one of the seekers already glimpses the snitch. Yes, Ravenclaw is the attacking team, so the Ravenclaw Seeker will glimpse. And the Snitch already advances two spaces. Reveal more Snitch cards. No more Snitch. The coaches draw five tactical cards. And now the kickoff begins. Ravenclaw's Bloodshot gets there, Gryffindor's Bloodshot gets there, and players are racing into position. Two chases to the sides, one beater to the side, one beater to the other side, one chaser to defend and one chaser to the other side. Coaches decide on the tactical cards for the pitch field actions. The coaches decided on their tactical cards. Ravenclaw plays an intrepid move. Gryffindor plays an intrepid move. And let the action start. Ravenclaw's first action block is empty. Gryffindor has one action in its action block. George Weasley tries to hit the chase around the opposite side of the field. Add one Lila die because there is a chaser in the same zone. Four successes. Defense reaction by the Ravenclaw beater. Only one opportunity, draw one tactic account for the intrepid move. The beat is successful, the Ravenclaw chaser gets a stun token, Gryffindor gets a tempo proof point and can break the tempo for free, moves the chaser forward. The Ravenclaw coach places the bloodshot there. And it's now Ravenclaw's second action block. First action, move. Second action, pass. Successful, no opportunity, so no tactical card. Gain a tempo token, but spend it to break the tempo. And move into the scoring area. Gryffindor's second action block, move the the beater and try to hit the player with a quaffle. 
get another Lila dice because of the intrepid move. Five successes. Maneuver reaction. One opportunity. So draw another tactical card. Get a stun token. Shift out of the scoring area before the Quarthy goes loose. Quarthy goes loose on the other side. Bludger moves there. Decided by the Ravenclaw coach. Gryffindor gets another tempo token, but no break in the tempo because the action block immediately ends if the Quarthy goes loose. And it's Ravenclaw's third action block. Beating with the beater on the chaser in the zone of the loose quaffle. Only one success. Three opportunities. So draw another tactical card. Defense reaction adding a Lila to die because of the intrepid move. Two opportunities. The beat was not successful. Gryffindor's third action block is empty. So we go on for the bludgeon movement. Ravenclaw lost the coffer, so it's the defending team. Moves the bludgeon to the middle area. Maneuver reaction of Dean Thomas. Two opportunities, not hit. Gryffindor has to attack one of their own players. Choose the beater, defense reaction, free opportunities, so not hit. Gryffindor was the last player to got an action block, so they choose their card first. Choose this one as card in play. Choose this one as card in play. Look at the next three with Harry's ability. Reveal the second golden snitch. Harry does a glint action. Four successes. So the snitch advances four spaces. Snitch is discounted. Harry uses his ability again. Puts the cards back in a order of his choosing and reveals one. The Ravenclaw coach chooses the slipstream card as a card to play and reveals the card. Tactical cards are discarded. The game sequence ends, a new one begins and the coaches try to find the best tactical cards for the pitch field action again. The coaches decided on their tactical cards for the pitch field actions. Gryffindor is the attacking team plays a intrepid move. Ravenclaw plays an intrepid move. It's Gryffindor's first action block. Pick up the quarter and pass. Successful. Gain a tempo point and break the tempo for free to perform another pass. No success. Use the fervent fan to reroll the orange die. Still no success. Quaffle goes loose. There, obviously. And the action block ends. So it's Ravenclaw's first action block. Pick up the Quaffle and perform a pass. Successful. Gain a temp point. Move as second action. At the end of the action block, play a swift entrepreneur move. Search for one ticket ticket card in the tactical deck and recover with the chaser in the scoring area. Gryffindor's second action block, try another beat. Two successes, maneuver reaction, reroll with the trade, Two opportunities, beat not successful, blood reds there. Ravenclaw's second action block is empty. Gryffindor's third action block is empty. 
Ravenclaw's third action block, action shoot. Chaser's gold hop, two. Keeper's gold hop, three. One additional success for the chaser. Reroll with a trade. Five successes. Catch. Only one opportunity. Goal for Ravenclaw. Gain a tempo point. Ten points. A snitch card to combine with their slipstreaming. They are not black, so they will simply get the fast impulse. Choose the card the Gryffindors need. Perform Accelerate 3 and get an upward token. Reveal, chase the shifts out of the scoring area, and keep a kickoff. Gryffindor shifts the beater. Ravenclaw doesn't want to shift a player. Free pass. All action blocks are resolved, so it's the bludgeon movement. Ravenclaw is the defending team. Attacks the beater, who is at a disadvantage. Defense reaction. No opportunities. Gets a stun token. Gryffindor attacks the chaser. The beetle performs a defense action. No opportunities. Use the fervent fan to kick off Gryffindor's fervent fan and reroll two. Still no opportunity, so another stun token for Chaser. Ravenclaw was the last team to perform an action block, so they choose a snitch card. Reveal. Gryffindor chooses a snitch card to combine with their card and play. And get Accelerate plus two successes, a Glimpse two and an Upwind. Harry accelerates. Only one success, but adds two though, so that's three. Chaser tight. Glimpse two. And an upward. Look at the next cards with Harry's ability. Put them back and reveal them. Tactic cards are discarded and coaches decide for the tactic card for the next game sequence. Tactic cards are revealed. Gryffindor got no cards to play. Ravenclaw plays an intrepid move. Gryffindor's first action block. Perform a pass. Ravenclaw plays an intrepid move. Assign a Lila plus die token to Randolph Burrow and perform a free move and steal. And immediately spend the plus day token. Roll. Reroll one for the intrepid moves with the trade. Three successes. Reaction with the young steal value. No opportunities. Steal is successful. Gain one tempo token and gain an additional tempo token for the intrepid move. Cash in the four tokens for a snitch card. Choose this one for Dutch three and minus orange token. And on the upwind, continue. And because of the Dutch, ignore the Gryffindor token. Place a minus orange token. Discard snitch cards and reveal a new one. Now it's Ravenclaw's first action block. Pass. One success. The pass is successful. Break the tempo, spending the tempo token. Getting one at the end of the action block for the intrepid move. Just lying down now so I don't forget it. Performing shoot as the second action. Chases, goal hop. Three, keep this gold hop two, 
one additional success. Roll. Repeat for the trade and the intrepid moves. Four successes. Catch. No opportunities. Another go for Ravenclaw. Get one tempo token and a snitch card as card and play. Shift out of the scoring area. Get 10 points. Keeper gets the quaffle and keepers kick off. Shift with the chaser. Shift with the beater and pass. Ravenclaw gets the tempo point at the end of the action block for the interpret move and it's Gryffindor's second action block. Pass. Successful. Get a tempo point. Cash in the four tempo points for a snitch card. But break the tempo with the trade to shift into the scoring area. Take the card as card and play. Harry looks at the next three, decides on an order and reveals one. Ravenclaw, second action block, try to hit the chaser in scoring area with a bludger. One success. Maneuver, reaction. Two opportunities. Beat not successful. Gryffindor player plays the bludger there. Gryffindor's third action block, perform a shoot. Chaser's goal hop, one. Keeper's goal hop, three. Additional success for the chaser. Roll, no successes, so only one for the goal hops. Catch, reaction, two opportunities. Shoot not successful. Chaser shifts out of the scoring area. There, keeper kick off. Chaser shifts back. Beta shifts, free pass. Ravenclaw's third action block is empty. Bludger movement. Gryffindor's the defending team. Bludger attacks the chaser with the quaffle. Maneuver reaction. No opportunity. Reroll two for the trade. One opportunity, not hit. Ravenclaw tries to hit the beater again, which is at a disadvantage and stunned, so he needs three opportunities with his defense reaction. Only two opportunities gets another stunned token. Ravenclaw was the last team to resolve an action block. They choose a snitch card and perform Accelerate plus two successes and Glimpse two and a black plus dice token. Accelerate and use two purple dice because of the trait. The three plus two is five. Glimpse two and a black plus die. Discard cards and reveal a new one. Slipstreaming. The Gryffindor coach chooses a card and gets Obstruct, Dot 3 and a minus orange token. Obstruct. No successes. Dutch 3. And minus orange. Use Harry's ability to look at the cards. Put them back and reveal one. Tactical cards are discarded and a new game sequence begins. Gryffindor performs a hand swap. Ravenclaw discards one of the stun token and performs an action and gets a tempo point. Form another bludger beat on the already stunned player who is at a disadvantage. Four successes, no chance to evade this. Superior strategy card because of the trade and the successful beat. Gain another stun token and a tempo point for Ravenclaw to get another snitch card as card play and reveal a new one. The last spectators are removed from the stand 
and Ravenclaw can use its spectator again. And tactical cards are revealed. Gryffindor plays an intrepid move. It's Ravenclaw's first action block. Perform a pass. Successful. Spend the tempo token to break the tempo and shift into the scoring area. Gryffindor's first action block. Try to steal with the keeper. No successes. Try again with the second action. One success. Reaction with the young steel value. One opportunity. Steel not successful. Ravenclaw's second action block is empty. Gryffindor's second action block. Try to steal again. No successes. Ravenclaw's third action block. Perform a beat as first action. Trying to hit the chaser nearest to the scoring area. One success. Maneuver reaction. No opportunity, so a tempo point for Ravenclaw and a stun token for the Chaser. No superior strategy card because the ability is already used. And a second action shoot. Chaser's card, two. Keeper's card, two. No additional success. Roll for the shoot. Two successes. Use the firm fan. To reroll one. Still only two successes. Catch reaction. No opportunities. Go for the Ravenclaw. Get another 10 points. A tempo point. And a snitch card. Use this one to get Dutch free. And catch the snitch. Congratulations to Ravenclaw, it seems like nothing worked out for the Gryffindor team and we got a convincing win for Ravenclaw as the logic conclusion. Let's hope that Gryffindor can show what they can in the next game. That's it for today, the Hufflepuff team is already primed and on my painting table, so there will come some Hufflepuff games year over the matter of the next weeks uh, yes for so long i hope you enjoyed this video please comment on what you like and what you have as ideas what i can improve and uh, enjoy my videos and the game